Welcome back to a windy installment of Julian's Random Projects. In today's episode, we're going to be repurposing, hopefully, this uh, parabolic satellite dish in the hopes to convert it to an LTE or a 4G um, type antenna. I recently installed an external antenna up on the roof here for one of our LTE modems, and it's working awesome. But this really ugly antenna, and I know they've got much larger ones for satellite. Uh, it's probably a holdover from uh, when this rural location only had internet via you know something like this. It's it's a bit outdated. No one's used it in quite a while, and it's just hanging out back here. I was just gonna rip it up and throw it away, but I thought, why don't I see if I can convert it and use it for a second LTE modem uh, that I use in the office. So I bought a really small uh, antenna that was external that went out to some SMA connectors. SMA is just the type of connector that screws on. And the goal here is to make this kind of like an LNB for the satellite that this would normally have. So normally there'd be an antenna here, which is actually what receives it. it. The signal comes from space and bounces off this guy. It's shaped in a way that it focuses it here. The, the focus happens right at this spot. This has already been you know, uh, engineered to be the hot spot for that. So what I'm gonna do, I'm getting weird reflections. <laughs> when I look this way, I can actually hear my voice in a, in a, in a weird way. Anyways, um, so with some gaffer's tape, just temporarily, I'm gonna set this up like something like that or like that, I'm not sure. Uh, I'm gonna play around with the depth here and I'm gonna aim this really low and at what I think is the LTE tower. And so if I get some decent uh, signal increase with that, not that I'm on the edge, I think just hanging this out the window would do well, but I, I really wanted to try and lock it in in case there's a really stormy weather, there's a lot of like interference or something um, or just cause I'm a geek and I wanna play with this stuff. So I'm gonna, See if I get any results. If I do get some results, then I'll relocate this to a place where it actually has true line of sight to that same tower, and we'll see if that gets any better. So yeah, let's get at it. Uh, looks like I found a photo of the original LNB that was on here. Of course, this thing probably transmitted and received. That's why it's kind of big. It's got heat sinks and stuff. And so looking at that, it seems like the focal point's probably about here. Without building much of bracketry, uh, that's just where I'm gonna have this guy hovering and kind of aiming back. I'm trying to get an idea of like the angle of this thing was. All right, now I also don't know about the the angle of the dangle here, if you will. I'm not sure if there's any, there's any sort of like polarization that really matters. I know that the LTE sometimes have like a vertical and a horizontal orientation, and it's not that they, it needs both. I think it just um, picks one, whichever's got the best signal to noise ratio. It just goes with that one. So this one's got the this, in this the main one, and then like an auxiliary line. I think one's horizontal, one's vertical. I know that looks ridiculous to a lot of folks. <laughs> I'll show you what that looks just aiming straight down at the ground like it is, but um, it's just because we're so used to them pointing up. Actually, I just noticed I can uh, clock it if I need to later. We'll, we'll play around with that. So uh, let's get it connected to this little modem and see if we can run it off of battery power out here. All right, I'm gonna fiddle around with this some. I'm trying to get it aimed in just the right way. I'm gonna you know, be going up and down, left, right. Those are the only two adjustments I've got. I guess I gotta also clock it like we talked about earlier, but I'm gonna goof around with it right now. It's hitting the, the deck here, so I need to raise it up or move it to another spot. Uh, so I'll be right back with you. All right, so it's got it kind of laying there. It, it's not even aimed, I mean, it's relatively aimed. I can't see the tower through those trees. I'm just sort of guesstimating it where I remember it being. Let's see, so with that there, we're gonna see if we can get to what kind of result we can get on here. Wait for it. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's a pretty good result. 100 me <laughs> 104 megabits. All right, awesome. Okay, so um, with my external antenna over there, the best I usually get is about 20 down and you know 10 up. This is awesome. Uh, <laughs> why isn't everybody doing this? <laughs> Maybe because that thing's got awfully ugly. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then when I've got it indoors, the most I get is um, like eight down and one or two up. So for some of my uh, video streaming and stuff like, you know, it's just challenging. So this is awesome. This is definitely worth <laughs> uh, permanently mounting this. So that, that's, I think that's what we'll do next. And then I'll try and aim it and see if we can get any faster. We might not ever get any faster. Like that's another thing to keep in mind. Um, if you're doing this at home, you, you might hit some sort of limit with your modem. For all I know, this is a hundred megabit per second modem. Um, or that tower might have certain 
uh, tiers or ranges that it tries to keep uh, mobile users in. So, you, I mean, you might not ever get anything faster, but you'd get a more reliable signal, like we were talking about before, like with storms and uh, rain or foliage that comes in seasonally and blocks that path. So, you know, having an external antenna really helps out with that. So, um, yeah, let's get this mounted up and see how we do. Over and out, over and out, over and out. 